Black Tree TV, I'm Nadia Hill. Welcome back to this week's hottest digital release. This week, the animated flick Brave is available for digital download. The adorable film starts out like most Disney animation. An evil witch casts a spell on an innocent princess. But in this inspiring story, the girl doesn't need a prince to save her as she discovers the meaning of true bravery all by herself. Earlier this year, our own Tara Hitchcock sat down with the cast to talk about how this fiery princess showed them the true meaning of bravery. Then, out of nowhere, the biggest bear you've ever seen, his hide littered with the weapons of fallen warriors, his face scarred with one dead eye. I drew my sword and... Whoosh! One swipe, his sword shattered, then chop! Dad's leg was clean off! Down the monster's throat it went. Oh, that's my favorite part. Mordu has never been seen since. And is roaming the wilds, waiting his chance of revenge. Let him return. I'll finish what I guddled in the first place. Yes, a princess does not place her weapons on the table. Mom. How much of you uh, do you see in Merida? Um... Not very much. She obviously sounds quite a lot like me or my mm. teenage self. Um, but funnily enough, they, uh, you know, when I when you do the recording sessions, and um, there's a camera pointed at you the whole time, and and it's for the animators to work with um, your face. Mm -hmm. You know, they it really helps them a lot to see how I, you know, um, how I say words, how my mouth moves, and um, and so there was certain moments when I watched. The movie. I kind of I could see my frown. I'm right. a big frowner, apparently. I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was certain there was certain facial facial thing. Oh, obviously she doesn't. I've you know she's blue eyed, red hair, mm. red haired, and right. I'm not. Um, but yeah, there was little twitches here and there. Well, Pixar asked me. They said, look, we want you to play two characters, and we want the young character, the suitor, the guy with the big chin, um, to be you know very sweet and heartfelt, but completely incomprehensible <laughs> to everyone other than his father. And he said, so can you just make something up? And I said, well, I could, but I, maybe one better is, you know, there's this dialect that my grandfather used to speak and a lot of people still speak in the Northeast called the Doric, which is almost like a, it's so far north that it's almost verging in a Norwegian kind of dialect. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in Scotland can't even understand people from, you know, that area sometimes when they get going with this. So they said, well, do something for us. And I, I did it and they were like, what did you just say? <laughs> I was like, well, that's, Perfect, right? And they, right. they loved it. And they said, and they, I think they loved the fact that it is a real dialect as opposed to some made up thing. And uh, and it, I think it adds a little comedy to the to the proceedings. And I'm very proud that I managed to put my home dialect into a big Pixar movie. We've been working on hair, and all of this comes out of the necessity that the story requires. You know, what does the story require? And, you know, you had Sully, which had hair to make him a big furry monster. And then from there you have Incredibles, Violet with her long black hair. And that was really pushing the envelope. We had stuff in Ratatouille with the rats and the, the humans in there. But this one, this type of hair became a really, really big deal. I mean, all the animals have hair too. I mean, the mm. bears have the hair and the horse has the hair in his mane. So there were a lot of technical challenges. And it, it's really hard, but they just lay and they go, okay, this is what's required from the story. Then we got to figure it out. And they just dive right and figure it out. And we're tweaking. And while we were making the movie, we were still fine tuning those parameters and the technology of how to do it. And we got uh, lots of cool controls. You know, mm -hmm. I could move just one hair, her forelock out of the way or whatnot, but I was concerned with just how it moves. Because mm -hmm. the audience, when they watch it, I don't want them pulled out. I want them going, hair doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. For more exclusive coverage of our latest news and entertainment, be sure to subscribe to our Black Tree TV channel and don't forget to click on either arrow on either side to watch one of our most commented videos. There were people who wanted to keep slavery intact. There were also people uh, who wanted to push things further, who wanted, you know, to, uh, were fighting for, like, black people having the right to vote or people of different races having the right to get married. And, you know, obviously we look back on those ideas now and we're like, clearly those are good ideas. Back then they were so controversial 